Hey Tiger, we're gonna be checking out the boys trigger. Very excited to dive into a b or like a boys comeback. No, a the boys comeback. There we go. Uh English would be difficult. Uh <laughs> girl um but yes i'm very excited to be diving into this i have no idea what to expect but i'm always sat for uh the boys come back so yeah what is this ninth mini album that's crazy girl most artists like you get a lot of like western artists how many put out like even nine albums it's crazy girl um so yes we don't gotta waste any more time and you know what it let's do Prometheus stole fire from the gods and gave it to mankind. We're giving Greek mythology? They burned everything to ashes. Yeah, and they so did. That became our trigger. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. Wow. All right. Whoa. Who did the edit? Who did the cut? Ooh! It's given Steeler. Like that same type of energy. Whoa! What? Whoa! Hey! How many extras we got, girl? Whoa. It feels like it's their biggest comeback, girl. Woo! Hey, yo. It's giving Matrix, girl. Okay. This is what you're talking about, girl. Oh my god. What is that auto tune voice in the back, girl? And then it's just a duh, duh. So nice. This, you know this is what I like it. This is a very concentrated, locked in phase. I can't I can't not do this face. I hate it, but Ooh. 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 Man, the breakdowns are sick. But the drops are crazy too. Wow. Whoa, okay, edit. Woo! Hey! And then I was speaking about Prometheus and fire here. Now we're at the fire here at the end. Oh, oh, what a shot. Okay, edit. Wow. That's to be some of the best editing I've ever seen. And I feel like I say that a lot. Give it to mankind, but mankind break everything to ashes. And so it became our trigger. Defy and resist. Yeah, it's definitely that type of thing. I mean, yeah. I mean, there's a lot to, we got, there's a lot to talk about here. I mean, where do we begin? Let's begin conceptually. So it's kind of like taking this um, Greek mythology, I think it's Greek, you know, sometimes Greek Norse, whatever, cross paths goes up and down, under in, and out, I don't even know. I'm not very fluent in it. Um, but yeah, no, kind of like starting with that. And then you sort of have this sort of just like rebellious sort of underground rise up concept, you know, revolutionary, coup d'etat, many names for it, whatever you want. Um, that is sort of just like really working with just like, I mean, it tells you in the beginning what the concept is and then it kind of tells you there again at the end to remind you this is what just happened. You know what I mean? And a lot of kind of like old school, 
mythology stories kind of like would start out that way it gives you like maybe you know like a paragraph like a shakespeare kind of like the intro tells you everything that's gonna happen and then it plays it out so that's kind of like what we got here so that was cool um I liked it though, like visually it really worked for it and the way you just like trigger that fire and a lot of the lighting, it's very low lit, it's very kind of like, I want to say like cool, but like more like greenish tones, you know what I mean? Very like an early 2000s sort of, oh, when color correction was invented, girl, the whole genre took it over and so did the Matrix. Um, it would just like make everything green. Um, but yeah, so that's definitely what we kind of got here and then it went to like that warm lighting there at the end. So I think that was just like a very, very clever to not like make it because everything just very like cool desaturized kind of like this it's a k-pop sort of look at thing you know i'm kind of tired of i'm a bit tired of seeing it so kind of making it like green definitely did sort of just like change it up but also kind of have like a nostalgic matrix e type of concept which is kind of like rebelling revolutionizing against the matrix question mark um but yeah so that was just like very clever conceptual advice very clean very precise when it's kind of going to that so when it's kind of giving sci-fi you know what i mean and a lot of sci-fi concepts are kind of like the revolutionary ones so i love it i don't know why i gotta go to k-pop videos to get my sci-fi concepts but hey here we are but hey bong joon ho's giving us mickey 17 so hey we are alive we are living we are breathing um but yeah well i guess technically dune would be but that's a little different you know that's a little that's desert you know what i mean i need technology i need i need sleepless i need um not like leather what was it like latex outfits like give, give it back to me please um but yeah no so visually i think the concept fucking nailed it what they were doing what they were going for um no beating around the bush about that one so yeah the kind of like even all like the extras in there really just like add to this sort of just like anthem of this sort of like revolutionary type of thing so and it's very interesting because it's not like they've done maverick was kind of similar in a concept but not at the same time you know what i mean like that was kind of like it was very much rebelling but that was kind of slightly um squid game ish you know what i mean like it was definitely inspired from that uh, but kind of within the same sort of wheelhouse so it's so it's not like so unfamiliar from them um to get this conceptually concept wise but maverick wasn't their biggest comeback you know what i mean trigger might be that girl oh um but yeah no so it was it was really great because of that concept wise i think it really worked for it um yeah and all the visuals and stuff and i don't know if they had like you know there's someone with just like a tank in the back with all like the wires going through i don't know if that's ex we've seen that before in a boys music video and in, in a the boys music video um we could have before there's just so much cave up in the brain and boy groups and this sort of visual thing that i'm just it's all blurring together at some point <laughs> Um, but I think it was fantastic. It was amazing visually crazy and I'm just speaking concept wise production wise girl It is crazy. I love it. The scenes aren't necessarily the most craziest most revolutionary You can kind of look at them and kind of come across these in a lot of other ones I would say the more kind of beginning more underground club like type of feel um, Y2k ish naughty type of like underground club um Again, are we in a Blade movie, girl? What? Um, type of vibe, you know? That's definitely, I feel like, visually different. Um, but kind of like the other stuff, I'm like, it's kind of like, you kind of seen it before, but I think what makes it so crazy, and it could have been just fine with standard editing, is the edit for it, the cut of it. Whoever did it, did a great job of it, because there's crazy, crazy stuff happening. Like, it'll be a frame of where you have somebody, they kind of, I think they would silhouette them out at a red light and lightning bolt behind them, and you're just like, oh! Girl, saucy. Um, no, the edit is some of like the best editing that I've seen, and it's not like necessarily like hella flashy. Like, um, there are moments, there are moments, but like, um, the vampire fallen angel one. Girl, what was it? Na, 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 na. What was it? What was that one? Oh my god. I can't think of it off the top of the dome. But it feels epic like the Steeler comeback felt for them for sure. I can't think of the name of the track, girl. Um, the boys, um, why is that not even in the top five? That's crazy. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. which one, which era was this, girl? What is the damn name of the title track? Girl, where is it? Girl, sometimes I can't find any damn thing when I'm trying to look for information. Um, no, 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 this one. No, it wasn't whispered. Damn, damn, damn. Ah, roar. Yes, roar. Um, I, I, I was thinking of like concept vampires, bald angels. What was it? Roar. 
that editing was super hella flashy and in your face and sick as fuck. And that was like my, was that my most, my favorite music video of that year? It might have been. But for sure, this one is up there with it. I mean, it was crazy. There's just like, it's, and it's not like even like most of the video isn't even edited like, edited like that. So when there are moments like that, ooh, it hits. It really does hit. But the edit was fantastic and stuff. They really killed it. I was going to look at the boys. No, I was going to look up, um different production companies to kind of see who did this um because uh who do i have mother who else have we got we got region i don't know region has worked with them before so wouldn't i wouldn't be surprised if they did this one as well um i mean all they have right now is kind of like xg so i don't know who necessarily did the directing here but they killed it um they really did so it's kind of like this is like kind of everything kind of like i feel like they wanted um maverick to be but just like everything like ooh, everything kind of just like but again it's kind of like a little bit of a different concept there uh but this is definitely just like a much more elevated version of that so i think it was great kind of going to the green mythology really worked for it um and that sort of thing the lightning strikes were ooh so good and the, the cut was insane the editing is like so nice level we can I, i'm not the type of reactor that like runs by and is just gonna break down every single transition but i could but i won't that's not what we do here um oh we, we were just talking about the visuals the song oh girl talk about genre changes i really think the best thing for k-pop right now is really bringing back like very much like edm house well this one wasn't really like house but other groups have been doing it that type of just like influence within a k-pop track because way back when like oh, when i found k-pop 2015 from like girl like 2010 to 2015 it was all just very like edm tracks like very like edm driven tracks you know what i mean but it's more just like how they sort of weave it in here like you weave in like other genres like hip-hop or like rock and stuff and i think that's like the more sort of evolution to k-pop rather than just being like sort of explicitly a one genre type of track kind of taking it and kind of like throwing in that influence in there that saucer like in the second verse why is there some like daft punk autotune up in there girl what and then it was like each kind of like breakdown of a member was like introducing like a different element within the track for that second verse and i was losing it i was alive but i was dead alive but i'm dead um so that was just like really really cool just like to get and those breakdowns ooh, delicious delicious breakdowns but then i kind of like I was like, is it like a much more hip hop leading track? Is it much more uh, like EDM type of thing? I couldn't girl, but it's all of them. And that's the best part about it. And the best part about K-pop. Um, but yeah, no, the track is, oof, oof. What a, what a beautiful track, um, amazing. Like also, oh, it's, it's, it's top tier. It's gotta be up there with some of their best title tracks. I do think like, okay, cause like the thing with the Y reaction style, it's really hard to sort of like, I have to take everything in at once, which it's really hard. These days. It's always been very difficult within K-pop. You know what I mean? Cause you probably do like multiple, multiple watch reviews and then you can give your opinion. I got one. I got one of the style I do my videos where I give the opinion, but I feel, I need to kind of just like go away from the visuals and kind of just say, like listen, consume the track. You know what I mean? Like it's not a lot of times where I feel like I need to do that. This comeback, I feel like I need to, I need everything kind of broken down at once. Choreography looked amazing. For what we saw, we know the boys always kill it. With their choreography, they always have killed it since day one. Um, and this is no exception to that. But yeah, this is a long reaction video for one day. But um, everything, fantastic. Killer, everything is wow. It's argue, like you can say it's their best and I wouldn't argue with you. I would not fight with you. But yeah, no, the cut, the editing, fantastic. Gorgeous. The visuals were insane. Really cool. Um, concept of the video, insane. Really cool. I mean, everything was insane and really cool. The track was crazy. Choreography looks nuts. Um, so yeah, arguably, arguably their best comeback. I, you could say I... I, I kind of don't like to say everything's my favorite or the best because it, it could change the next comeback. And then you got, I got seven different comeback reactions where I say the same damn thing. And it's just like, <gasps> but if it's true, it's true. But oh wow, this one was an epic. This was a major comeback for them. They definitely threw a bunch of money here. Um, it left, oh, it's a night, it's a mini album. It is. I, I remember saying that earlier because I was just like, oh, 
what are we kind of rocking with um ooh but I'm excited to dive into those b-sides I'm not throwing in my first listen the boys I don't necessarily always like there's some groups where I'm like I, I have to not do first listens for everything I have to kind of reserve some stuff for myself um and the boys is definitely a group that I reserve for myself I also don't really do first listens for them so yeah it is what it is but I'm excited I will dive into that because they've always had really amazing b-sides um, so that's definitely for sure something I'm gonna take a listen to because I do already have just like 10 on the docket first listen So anyways, it's a long ass video, but oh Oh, what a comeback. What a comeback. Go to put your thoughts and comments down below to that about the boys Trigger if you like this video gives video a thumbs up if you like to me and you want to see more of my videos Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to see videos this. Oh, you know what? You know what the editing is very similar to kind of like how they did EXO's obsession like that sort of ending sequence fighting sequence with um the members and stuff that it's kind of it's giving me those sort of vibes and i don't remember who did exo obsession but it's definitely kind of like i wouldn't be surprised if it's the same editing or the same visual team or anything like that so that's definitely something i gotta say um for sure. But yes, go to your thoughts and comments down below to know about the boys trigger. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you liked me and you want to see more of my videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you want to see my videos the second they come out, hit that notification button. If you want to follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, threads, are in the description down below or at the end screen. If you like gaming content, I have a gaming channel. It's called Areca. Currently, <laughs> currently playing. All right, finishing Silent Hill 2 remake, and we're getting into the finishing the Resident Evil remaster as well. We've got a lot of the game left. Whatever. Um, your thoughts, comments down below. Or no, where am I in my outro? Oh my god. Uh, Gaming channel Erica links in the description down below. Or at the end, no, it's not at the end screen. Links in the description down below uh, for gaming content. Um, social media: Twitter, Instagram, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Threads. Description down below. End screen. Thank you so so much for watching. Love you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Baby, you a gangster, got my hands tied, falling for your deep